Hello, it's Gary Pink, obviously, here. I just want to attach, for anyone who needs any information on certain legal views on wiretapping and recording in public, done by Michael S. Horvath, business services attorney from a company, Gross M. McGinley, LLP, Attorneys at Law. I will attach his channel link in my description as usual. A lot of channel creators, big ones and small ones alike, become more and more horrified at the situation going on with some of the tragedy pimps who are going around desperate to find content regardless in my opinion of how they hurt disrupt docs people without reason without foundation Today, or yesterday for some of you, we have seen two go into a business. Molly Go Lightly and Bullhorn Betty go into a business and cause amazing, or shouldn't say amazing, I should say appalling, sorry, disruption and filming without permission an employee and staff and any customers who are within range. There is obviously a lot of context to what happened today but for the sake of the employee, the other staff and the customers I'm not going to put the videos up because I believe they would rather not. It needs to be handled with the company and the employees, because one of the employees, I believe, allegedly has been suspended due to what went on today by those two, quotes, creators, quotes. Many of us, And there are a lot more than perhaps people realise. Whether we be a bigger channel or a small channel, a subscriber or just someone who watches, have become more and more appalled over the last four, possibly five years at the massive increase in this problem. Obviously the video I attach is about Pennsylvania law because it relates to that area. But it is appalling whether a state has the freedom of speech and all the rest of it. Each state has a different law and people need to research these laws and understand them before they go blundering about causing harm. For no reason, but for clicks and views, in my opinion, and allegedly, as we have to say. It is untenable. We are now beyond a point where we are all trying to band together the decent people, because there are many of us, and many of us don't know each other or have ever contacted each other. But whilst we may not all know each other's channels or subscribers, etc., especially in the last year or so, we have all become of one mind, the majority of us, who are decent. And we are fed up with victims and their families being hurt people being bullied and harassed off YouTube, cyber-stalked, 
doxed, etc. And now it has extended into someone's life who just just getting up in the morning and going to work to support their family. So, as I say, I'm going to attach the video that I mentioned at the beginning. Please watch it and take it on board. I think it's also important, and I've said it before, to remember that YouTube is not just watched by people in America. It's watched by literally billions of people all over the world. And it is surprising how we all end up in similar places, a lot of us. And we have to remember that in other countries we have different laws to America, some of which are far, far stricter when it comes to online harassment and cyberbullying. I know certainly in the UK, although it may not seem like it to some, it is more strict, and in other countries in Europe, etc. So we do need to do research when we do a video or upload anything or watch anything as best we can. So, again, please watch this brief video. The link to this channel is in the description. And please be vigilant. Perhaps don't share too much private information out. That's key. And we need to stop feeding these people, to stop listening, watching them, because they are doing harm. Whatever the context of that story today, or events rather, it is wrong what they have done. Especially when one of them has made a very unpleasant video, which has very sinister, in my opinion, allegedly threatening undertones towards somebody who is just doing their job. But that is their MO. Anyway, as I say, take care, be vigilant. Let's stop cyberbullying, tragedy pimps, harassment, victim blaming. This video I've done under the copyright laws, fair use, and these are my thoughts and opinions only. Take care, everybody. Stick together. We are as one. I know that. You see it more and more. And we all need to reach out to each other more and more and realise there are people who've been here for quite some time who have seen a lot and there are new people coming in all the time who are unaware of just how unpleasant YouTube streets can be, as we say. Take care. Hi, my name is Mike Horvath and I'm here today to talk about Pennsylvania's Wiretapping Act. Pennsylvania, like most states, has enacted laws that make it illegal to record others without their consent. So Pennsylvania is considered a two-party consent state. What that means is that basically, you have to have both parties consent to the conversation before you, are, before you can record them. So essentially, it is a third degree felony in Pennsylvania to wiretap someone or press record without them knowing and, and then use that in any way to whether elicit information, elicit substances from them, or to send that to anyone else, really. However, Pennsylvania is an outlier in that they do require two parties to consent to the conversation, which is only the case in 11 states in the United States. The other 39 remaining states require that only one person consents to the recording. Now, that may sound weird because that means that basically I can press record and if I'm part of the conversation, then that means that I'm the only person that needs to consent and the person that I'm recording doesn't have to. But Pennsylvania makes it different. Pennsylvania makes it so that it is a third degree felony unless that other person that you're trying to record is consenting to being recorded. 
And then, as we know, third degree felonies can lead to an array of legal charges that only experienced lawyers can help resolve. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what is consent in Pennsylvania? Well, luckily, the courts have defined that for us. A lot of people think consent is me basically saying, yeah, you can record me. But no, that's not the case. Pennsylvania courts have said that consent exists where you know you're being recorded or reasonably should know you're being recorded and don't do anything to stop the recording. For example, if I am recording you and you can clearly see that I have a video on you and you know that you're on the video and you continue to speak even knowing that you're on the video or the recording, then you have consented. It doesn't matter that you said, oh, stop recording me. If you continue to speak and engage in that conversation, even after learning that you've been recorded, then you've consented. And in Pennsylvania, that's a way out of a third degree felony. It is a complete defense to the wiretapping act. So to wrap up, Pennsylvania does make it a third degree felony to record someone else without them knowing. Pennsylvania is a two party consent state, meaning that you and the person you're recording need to consent to that recording. And only 11 states in the United States make it so. The other ones only require that the person recording or somebody else consent. And consent, as I just stated, is just knowing or reasonably, sh or reasonably knowing that you are being recorded.